What's going on, everybody? This is Bishop Brad coming to y'all on Peppa TV. Coming to y'all on a hot sauce tonight from one of my favorite companies out of New Zealand called Hot Ass Chilies. Y'all may know Paul Smith. Sent me a prototype. This is a taster review uh, on his Lemon Habanero Chili Sauce. It says heat is a 6 out of 10, and he put a question mark. No name yet. We're going to find out, Paul, if this is a good sauce, baby boy. You know I'm going to tell it to you right. You know I'm going to tell it to you good. Because you know I love you. You're my boy. Alright, this is a prototype. I haven't seen this sauce. Um, so let's roll with it. The lemon habanero chili sauce. It has no ingredients on it. This is where Paul finds out if he should even make the motherfucker. Alright, right here, boy. Oh, aroma. Let me go ahead and shake this thing up. Alright. Aroma. That, wow. That smells like, um, creamy. I hope you got this cream right. Creamy lemon. Creamy lemon aroma to it. I'd give this thing a... I'd give that thing a, a six and a half out of ten on aroma. Alright, let's roll. Gritty. Holy crap. A lot of the vinegar to the back of the throat on that. But it's like I'm eating a freaking lemon pie. It's not sweet. It's creamy, gritty. Lemon, cream, boom, heat, vinegar. I'd have to say this. The lemon habanero, you can taste the habanero. I'm just getting lemon, lemon, cream, vinegar, heat. With a tad of habanero. On flavor, I'd give this thing a 6 out of 10. It is really different. And I think that's why it's getting so low is because I... Never had a sauce that tasted like that, but it's good. It's good. I don't know much of what I would use that on. Uh, maybe chicken. It needs more salt. I think salt's what's missing. Uh, heat, I'd give this Mama Jamma a, a 5 out of 10. An all-around product for hot-ass chilies. This is no name yet. Lemon habanero chili sauce is a prototype. I'd give it a... I'd give it a 6 out of 10. 6 out of 10, Bubba. I'm, I'm kind of dumbfounded because I was going to try and see what I could eat this with. I don't know... What I'd eat, this would be very cool with Asian. Like if I was at a Japanese restaurant and they cooked it in front of me and I wanted to take my steak and like dip it in this, I mean, I could see that, but I'm not seeing anything else with it. Definitely unique flavor profile, but uh, good luck on that one, Bubba Paul. I love you. I'll see you on the next one, baby. Y'all have a good one. Bye bye.